Hello everyone. Today I am excited to talk about something really interesting and important in math. I'm going to talk about something called the place value chart, word form, numeral form, and we'll explore numbers up to 10,000. Before that, I want to talk about the digit and the number. A digit is any one of these symbols that is 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. These single numbers are the digits. And a number or numeral is an amount of something. It can be written with many digits. Like we have taken three digits, that is 1, 2, and 3, and made a numeral, which is 123. So we have taken three digits. So this is three-digit number. So this is the 123, a numeral or a number. Now we'll talk about place value chart. Place value chart is used to read and write numbers. Imagine there are two houses, one's house and thousand's house. In one's house, only three members can live and their name is ones, tens, hundreds. In thousand's house, only two members can live. That is thousands and ten thousands. In maths, we call these houses as periods. It means we have two periods, ones period and thousands period. And under these periods, the members in maths named as places. In ones period, we have ones, tens, hundred as places. And in thousands, we have thousands place and ten thousands place. So, we can write these places in short forms. For ones, we use capital O. For tens, we use capital T. For hundreds, we use capital H. For thousands, TH. For ten thousands, TTH. We can write these places as numbers or numerals as well. So for ones, we use one. Tens, we use ten, one, zero. And hundred, we use two zeros. For thousands, we write three zeros. And for 10,000, we write four zeros. So this way, we have done the places and periods. We have already known now that we have two periods, ones period, thousands period, and under that, we have places. Now, we'll take an example. Like, we have a number here, which is 4, 5, 3, 2, 9. Now, we have to write this number under place value chart. So, for that, we'll not start writing from 4. What we'll do is, we'll go to the right side of this number, which is 9. So, we'll go to 9 digit, which is on the right side. And we'll write that digit first. We'll write 9 under 1's place. Then 2 under 10's place, 3 under 100's place, 5 under 1000's place and 4 under 10,000's place. We'll always start writing a number from the right side. Now again, there is an, another example which is 6, 5, 3, 4. For that, you'll not start writing from 6. We'll start writing from the right side of the number which is 4 here. So, we'll write 4 under 1's place, 3 under 10's place, 5 under 100's place and 6 under 1000's place. Here, there is nothing under 10,000's because we do not have 10,000's here. You can write 0 or if you write it, if you do not write anything, it's okay because there is nothing under 10,000's. So, we have done two examples here. Likewise, you can write any number under the place value chart. But remember the rule. Always start writing the number from the right side. Okay. So, now let's talk about commas. Commas help us to read big numbers easily. 
commas separate the periods in some book instead of commas numbers are separated by spaces between them so here we have the example 4 5 6 7 8 now this is the number and we have to separate it because these num these three numbers live in some other house these two numbers live in some other house once is for these three and thousands houses for these two so we have to separate the houses for that we use comma here so after three digits we use comma and leave these two digits because they are from different houses different periods or you can just leave some space between these two houses so we could recognize that this is one's house this is thousands house so, you can put the commas likewise in any five digit numbers. Now, we are going to learn about reading and writing big numbers, specifically five digit numbers. Don't worry, it's going to be fun. You just need to remember two steps. First, look at the example 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what is the first step? write places above each digit so what you will do is you will write eight and above it what is the place of eight it's one's place what is the place of seven it's tens you'll write tens and above seven then you'll write six and above six you'll write hundred above five you'll write ten thousand Above 4, you will write 10,000 and above 5, you will write 1,000. So, this way, you have written the places above the digits. After that, you will put the comma. You will separate the periods. 1, 10, 100 and then you put comma, then 1,000, 10,000 separated. Now, read the number till comma. That is 45. And instead of comma, you will write the period name. 45,678. You will not write the number with the period name. Because once period, we do not write. We already know that these three members in the once period. So, you will write 45,678. Eight. So, this way you have written the numbers. Now, we'll take some more examples. Remember the two steps. Now, in your books, you'll find they'll write right word form or they can say write number name of the following numbers. Here we have number 98653. What was the first step? Write the places above the numbers. Once place will come above 3, 5 and above 5 you will write tens, above 6 you will write 100, above 8 is 1000 and above 9 what you will write? 10,000. Now you will put comma after 3 digits. Then let's see the number that will be 98,653. Easy. Now let's go to the B part. The number is 67092. Now for this again, first write the places above the numbers. Now above 2 again, we'll start with the right side first. Right side digit first, right? So above 2, we'll write once. Above 9, tens. Then 100, 1000 and 10,000. Now we'll put the comma after 3 digits. And now let's read the number. It will be 67,092. There is no 100. Under 100, it's 0. So we'll not write 100 here. So it's just 67,092. Now, it's your time to do some workout. Giving you the exercise. Answer these in comment section. Pause the video and solve them and I'll check the answers later. So, the first one is 23076. Remember the first step. Write down the places above the digits. 
you will start with which digit first? Six. Six places, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and then ten thousand. So you'll write twenty three thousand. After that, you'll be writing yourself all these. I have inserted zeros there. So be careful while writing the answer. I'll check your answers later. How many of you have corrected all the four? Or who has done something wrong? Let's see. Now, let's move further to the numeral form. Now, we have the numeral form in this. The word form will already be given and we have to write it in numbers. For that, we have example 63,745. You have three steps for that. Just remember, they are very easy. You just need to write places till 10,000. Why 10,000? Because this is two-digit number. This is two-digit in the thousandth place. So that's why you'll write the till 10,000. So 10,000, thousand, hundred, tens, ones. So you will write the places till 10,000 from ones. For after writing the places, you will write the numbers below the places. How you will write the numbers? It is given in the question. 63,000. 6, 3, 2 digit. So 6 will come under 10,000. 3 will come under 1,000. And 700. 7 will come under 100. 45. 4, 5, 45. So 4 will come under 10s and 5 will come under 1s. So this way you have done the numeral form. Remember the first step. Write down the places first. Then write down the digits under that. Don't forget to insert the comma after three digits because you have to separate the houses. Remember? Now, again, it's your time to do some workout. Giving you the exercise, write the answers in the comment section. Uh, pause the video and solve. This is the numeral form. Let me help in the A part. 53,905. So first you'll write the places. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. 53,000, five, three, 53. Five will come under 10,000. 3 will come under 1000, 9 will come under 100. What about 5? Five? 5 will come under 10s or under 1s? Oh my God, you need to think for that. 10s, if 5 will come under 10s, then you write 5, 0. If it will come under 1s, you write 0, 5. So this I have given some tricky here. Now you will solve and tell me the answers in the comment section that 5 will come under 10s or 1s and then I'll see what you have done and you understand the numeral form or not. So this way you will be doing the B part, C part, D part. Here you will having some tricky questions so that I can check you understand the topic or not. So keep practicing, keep exploring and most importantly have fun with numbers. I'm coming to check your answers. Thank you for listening. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.